close with my father-in-law. Good man. Hey, okay. Guys. All right. Hey, everybody. We'll uh, go ahead and get started uh, right away with questions for uh, Peyton Manning. So if you have a question, please just raise your hand. We'll call on people individually. So go ahead and start right over here with Kelly Quinlan. Hey, I was just curious, kind of, what is, what is it like coming here today and, and going through this emotionally for you? Well, uh, it's certainly a range of emotions. Uh, that They showed a very powerful video in the team meeting uh, with all the players that Coach Collins introduced. And... Uh, it was very moving. Uh, it was Demarius as a as a young child in high school and Georgia Tech and Broncos, and then all his community service pictures. It, it just uh, had his voice, uh, you know, uh, talking about his approach to playing football, his approach to community service and giving back and loving people. So it was there were a lot of tears flowing in that team meeting room. A lot of tough football players, but uh, uh, everybody. Uh, was uh, was very moved by it. So uh, I just appreciate Georgia Tech uh, making all this happen. Uh, the, the number eight jersey presentation with the scholarship winners and having this ceremony on 8-8, eight, 8-8 eight, uh, eight, eight day. Uh, Morgan talked about how Demarius wouldn't like all of this. He wouldn't like all of this attention. And they have an incredible mural of Demarius at Georgia Tech and with the Broncos. And Coach Collins talked about he wouldn't like that either. He wouldn't like that out in front, but it's right there by the players' locker room. They'll see it every day. It's what he deserves, and uh, I appreciate Georgia Tech keeping his legacy alive. Rob, do you have any recollections or memories of the first time you met Bebe? I met Demarius uh, when I visited uh, Denver, uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, a couple of the players came by, and uh, he was – I knew he was big, but he was, he was even bigger and more impressive in person. Uh, when you saw him and, uh, you know, strong grip and uh, you could just tell what a, a physical specimen he was. And then just getting to know him, um, his, uh, as, as I kind of, as I shared, he was, a, he was a gentle, caring old soul and uh, didn't say a whole lot, but had this incredible smile. And you know, any time a player had a charity event, the answer was yes, he was there. It wasn't, hey, I, I might try to make it or, hey, I'm tired. The answer was yes, he was there and the way he treated my family and other players, kids, uh, he treated them like they were uh, his own. And uh, they showed the picture of this video of my son at the time, Marshall was five, was in a laundry bucket and Demarius is pushing him around in the locker room right after we won the Super Bowl. The fact that he's doing that, as opposed to celebrating and being out there in the field, it just tells you who he was. So, uh, so many great uh, memories of him. I miss him every day. And uh, uh, he was one of a kind for sure. Ken and then Justin. Um, and can you just, you may have touched on it already, but what are some of the things that you shared with the team about uh, the American team? A lot of the same things I shared today. I just wanted you know the players to know uh, who he was. Morgan did the same thing. Morgan's obviously known him for such a long time. Demarius was a big reason why I went to play in Denver. Um, and the, you know his unselfishness, his toughness. There's an old saying in football, there's a difference between being hurt and being injured. And Demarius was hurt a lot, but yet he always practiced. He always played. He always answered the bell for his teammates. And he took more. He took a lot of pride in, in the defense double covering him because it was going to allow someone else to catch the ball as opposed to complaining, hey, I'm not getting the ball enough. I'm getting double covered. Uh, he took pride in that. He put the team over self. So just wanted um, Micaias and, and Nate to learn about him all the players, you know, there, there could be a freshman on this team who might wear number eight uh, uh, at some point, and for the scholarship winners to understand who DT was because uh, it's, it's up to them to kind of carry on his legacy. So um, it was, uh, I really appreciated the, the opportunity to talk to the team and share about who my friend was. Justin. Peyton, I appreciate you taking some time to chat with us. Uh, Todd Stansbury kind of told the story about how quickly the scholarship came together. What do you remember about, you know, last December, everything hitting you and what made you think, okay, this is the way we want to get back? Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it, it's no doubt it was, it was tough. I mean, when I, when I watched that video and I was talking with his mother, I mean, this, this is a bittersweet day. It, it, we are so appreciative of Georgia Tech making all this happen, but we miss him and, uh, and we'll never stop missing him. But, uh, yeah, I got on the phone with Todd uh, a little bit after that and just, said I want to do something and, and I, I've been a part of several scholarships before I, I'm not sure there's a better gift than the gift of education and to help uh, the fact that all of the scholarship recipients are from 
the same area he grew up in, in middle Georgia, his county, that's important. That's Demarius, that's who he was. It's helping them, that scholarship will live in perpetuity. And, uh, and, then, and then Todd and Georgia Tech were the ones that said, hey, we like to present the number eight jersey to, to a player or multiple players uh, each year and let, let that live in perpetuity as well. So that, that, was, um, that was pretty powerful. Um, I, I, I envisioned the scholarship aspect of it. Uh, uh, the number eight part of it was, was, was Todd uh, and some other people kind of suggested that. And so, you know, to have 8-8 eight, eight day, every day, the fact that I got to be here with Morgan on, on this first one uh, was special. And, uh, you know, I look forward to Macias making a play and Nate making a play and uh, people watching going, hey, you know, he's wearing, he's wearing number eight. So uh, it's, um, um, I know DT would be proud. Time for maybe one more for Peyton. Do we have any more? Yeah. Ken. Um, I'm curious to both of you, your commitment to community and serving others is doesn't know what you said about it. But I'm curious, did you ever need to get conversations about kind of what drove him and what made him such a you know, outgoing person? Yeah, I mean, uh, Demarius and I had conversations about his, his childhood and, uh, you know, certainly um, that Super Bowl run when there was so much happening you know with his family and uh you know the pardon from president obama that was that was all uh that was pretty pretty powerful you know the, the fact that he's processing that at the same time getting ready to play uh you know some of the biggest football games of his career he handles it all with such grace um look you know nobody can quite understand all that he overcame uh as a as a young man the the, the fact that he makes it is a miracle. The fact that he comes to Georgia Tech and thrives and gets this great education and becomes this great player, then he goes on to Denver and becomes this great player. It, it's, it's nothing short of, uh, of amazing, but it tells you everything about him, his perseverance, uh, his faith, uh, his toughness. And you know that's, that's who Demarius Thomas was and that's who I hope everybody learned about him uh, today. Okay. That's all the time we have with Peyton. We'll bring over Morgan Burnett and Coach Collins cool. as well. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you all.